UK. Welcome to Sweden and to this channel. On this channel you will learn a lot about light. Light, 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 light. Because if you get into the world of photography, you must take beautiful photos and then light is a good start, you know. And if it's the first time you're here, you can hit that subscribe button down there. Today, I'm using a bit special flash. Um, it's a Profoto Multispot with a projection attachment, this part. Because I want to have a very small light source. That's why I'm using this. Um, if you cannot find or you don't, maybe you don't have a projection, then you can use just a bare flash, place it very high up, as high up as possible. And then you attach a, where is the, a reflector with a honeycomb grid. Then you will get a similar result. Small light source, there is no bounce in the room, a deep shadow. That's what I'm going for today, because I want it to, look like the sun and if you want something to look like the sun I mean if you want the light to look like the sun then you need to have a razor sharp shadow edge and today I will show how you can cheat a bit because I see many are doing this and also I saw this question in the Facebook group we have link below it was a question about how can you get this soft smooth light on the product but you have sharp shadow edges. I think this was the question, if I remember correctly. Um, and this we will do today, because I see this everywhere right now. Super razor sharp shadow edges, so it looks like the sun. But at the same time, there is a very beautiful smooth light on the product. And this means we need to do a composite, take two shots and make two layers in Photoshop and I will show you this at the end okay so let's start by putting this flash oops first we can start by taking a shot yes now we have a black frame because we have the settings ISO 200 1 200 of a second shutter speed and f13 so it's pitch black the video lights will not affect the shots the window lights it will not affect the shot at all. So now it's only this flash because I want the shadow to be very deep. Let's put on this flash. You see the light there, the modeling light. And this is crazy flash. You see? I can control how big this should be. If I take a shot with the smallest aperture, I mean, Actually, it's the biggest aperture for this light, the smallest hole, and this is what we get. Super sharp shadow edge, just like when you're shooting in the sun, you're placing this product in the sun. But then I can make this bigger because I don't want to have this vignetting going on. So I'm making this bigger, like that. And then we take another shot. So now the whole scene will be bright. And this is quite interesting, because I always say, when you want to have a soft shadow, soft light, you use a big light source. And if you want to have a sharp shadow, shadow the shadow edges should be sharp, small light source. But now I made the, the light bigger. Now it's huge. So why is the shadow still the same? This is a very good thing to understand. This took me like two years to understand. <laughs> I mean, it's not the light itself that makes a shadow. It's the source. And this one is very, very, very small, this opening here, you know. So it's the source that will create 
the hard edge of the shadow. Okay, so now we have the first shot and uh, some people go for this, you know, it's okay. But if you take a closer look, the shadow is fine, super sharp. And if we zoom in, the light is also kind of okay. But if we look a bit closer down here, this is uh, it's like semi glossy, this product. And then you get these highlights here specular highlights and this is not so nice so this is why we want to use soft light big light source on the product so if this was a shot outside in the sun what we are creating now can never exist really soft light on the product and hard edge it will never look like this in the sun you know it will look like this but not everyone is thinking about this, probably only nerdy photographers. So let's do everything we can to make this product look nice. Because also this side is not that nice really, you know, with this hard light and also these highlights. So let's take another shot with the soft light. And then we have a diffuse frame diffusing frame this one savage medium diffusion and I would just place this as close as I can to the product something like this and then we take a shot and let's see what we will get and this I like we're putting this on and this kills a bit of light of course so we can put up the power a bit but as you see when we're looking at this especially on the side you see how it looks like it's round beautiful and we don't have this hard specular highlights it's more like a bit softer highlight there okay let me put this light up the power up a bit and let's take another one like this and let's not move the product because we're putting them together these two shots you know shoot yes now it's a bit brighter and you see this one and you see this line here this is um, silver glossy silverish you know and this one did not cover the whole part of this so the glossy part you see there, this is the frame, the diffusion, and the rest on the sides, it's outside the frame. Because there is no light coming, so it will reflect darkness. The whole room is black, you know, remember the first frame. So this doesn't look that nice, I would say. And also this one, here you can be creative and make nice gradients or hard edges there. But that's another tutorial. Today I will go for the hard light version, this one, because we didn't put a diffusion on and then these uh, parts will be black because the silver part on the product will reflect the black room, you know. So we can take that specific part and put in. So now we have the two shots really. This one and this one the soft beautiful light on the product and then we put it together with this shadow I would also show you how you very easily can put this product on a new background okay so was this it really very short tutorial you can comment below if you like me to do a whole video about this projection light because you can use it for so much more than just now and just shooting you know to get a small light source without bounce in the room to get this deep shadow but you can put in gobos and it's a fantastic tool let me know if you want me to do a projection video okay let's jump into photoshop let's take these two shots this is with a hard shadow and the soft light so let's open these two guys in photoshop here they are 
let me see here maybe we can set the white balance to something like that and this one also maybe we'll take down the exposure a bit because i want this color to be a bit nicer there so let's pick both of these guys and open them so here they are so let's copy this soft one and paste it on top of the, the hard one and here we have them and uh, to make sure they are aligned perfectly select both layers and then we go to edit align auto align layers and then we can make sure they are perfectly aligned if i turn off you see so now we have the two layers here this is with the hard light hard edge but we don't like the light on the product and then we have the soft one here so now we need to put on this shadow onto the other one so how do we do that well i guess i should cut this out i pick the selection uh, objects object selection tool w and select subject now we have the subject selected and i would just click on this mask here when i have it selected and voila there you go now we have the soft light and this hard edge shadow shadow with the hard edge okay so that's it really also this one is not so nice so i prefer to go with the hard light and uh, we just make this um, this one black we picking take this from hard light small light source and also this line here i think it looks nicer if it's just black and you should really do this a bit more careful you know you should always use a, a wacom uh, tablet so you will get perfect everything so this is a bit rough now you will get the idea something like this and we can look at before and after here is the hard light the small light source and then i just add the soft light on the top just for the product okay i think this background is a bit boring so i will open up open we want it to look like it's lying outside yeah in the sun so let's use this one and paste and we can rotate it and then we can make it bigger so now we have this um, new background and i think we can uh, put these together these layers command shift e put them together and then i just go to the object selection tool and select product and now he will select the shadow yeah and then i just make a mask now it's on its own and then i just put this behind and voila now it's out in the sun i often put on maybe we can put on the what is this color balance and then we can put on put a bit of yellow in the mid-tones and maybe a bit on the highlights too so it will melt in a bit with the background there just just a tad and then i go to shadows and we can actually add a tiny bit of blue to the shadows doesn't hurt a bit of a cyan too maybe just a tiny 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 bit like that and there we have the shot very simple okay okay thank you so much for watching and i would like to thank all the coffee supporter members who has joined this channel supporting me with some coffee coffee is out and supporting this channel in general so i can keep doing these tutorials for you okay if you like to join just hit the join button below okay and as always thank you so much for watching and i will see you next time